Welcome to History with Master Squishies. In today's video, we'll be covering the history of the AB-41, we'll be going over who made it, the design, what nations used it, some of the battles it took place in, and how it performs in-game. To start off, the AB-41 was the abbreviated name for the Auto Blindo 41, which simply means Armored Car 41. The AB-41 was designed in 1937 by Fiat SPA and Ansaldo Fassati as a replacement for the older Fiat Terni Tripoli and Lancia 1 ZM to fulfill roles within the Colonial Police and Army Reconnaissance. In 1939, the first two prototypes were unveiled and after trials, it became standardized in 1940. The 1940 variant was designated AB-40 and had two 8mm Breda Mod 38 machine guns. This model had a small production number of 24 before getting redesigned. After the AB-40 was redesigned and the new variant was produced and deployed in 1941, the new variant was designated AB-41 and in total around 550 to 650 were made. The redesign for the AB-41 consisted of a new turret and a new 20mm Breda Mod 35 autocannon with a secondary coaxial 8mm Breda Mod 38 machine gun. Later in its service life, the engine would be upgraded to handle the new weight of the turret and gun, but this wouldn't happen until 1942. The AB family had an interesting design all around. First it had a four-wheel steering system that was troublesome for the crew, and instead of one driver, it had two. The driver in the front controlled the six forward gears, and the driver in the back controlled the four reverse gears. Next, it had some major oversights, like poor access to the power plant, an unprotected fuel tank, exposed traverse gear, and a lack of interior bulkheads to separate the crew from the engine. The AB-41 was equipped with a single turret, mounted with a 20mm Breda Mod 35 autocannon, and a secondary coaxial 8mm Breda Mod 38 machine gun, with an additional rear-facing 8mm Breda Mod 38 machine gun next to the rear driver. It had a maximum of 18 mm of armor and a minimum of 5 mm of armor. It had a crew of 4, a weight of 7.5 tons, a length of 5.21 meters or 17.1 feet, a width of 1.93 meters or 6.4 feet, a height of 2.48 meters or 8.2 feet, and a max speed of 48 miles per hour on road. Next we'll move on to its operational history. AB-41 was used by the Kingdom of Italy primarily, but saw use with Germany, Romania, Free France, the Yugoslavian Partisans, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, the Italian Social Republic, the Italian Partisans, Italy, Poland, Greece, France, Croatia, and Australia. There's main battles that took place in, but it was mainly used as a military police unit. It operated in North Africa, Yugoslavia, Italy, Hungary, and on the Eastern Front. The AB-41 specifically was deployed to the Calvary, Italian Africa Police, or the PAI, Bersaglieri, and even made up its own recon battalion of just AB-41s. The AB-41 could adapt to many terrains such as desert with sand tires. It could also be fitted with specialized bogey wheels and extra lights to run on railroads. These rail-converted cars were mainly used as anti-partisan patrol units in the Balkans. Finally, we'll move on to how it performs in War Thunder versus how it performed historically. The AB-41 in War Thunder is pretty well done and there's not much that I can find for faults. The minimum armor is 8mm instead of 5mm and the maximum armor is right with it being 18mm. Minimum armor is off by 3mm since in real life it was 5mm. The gun is right with it being a 20mm Breda Mod 35 autocannon, and the secondary is also right with it being a 8mm Breda Mod 38 machine gun. All in all, the AB-41 is really well done and I can't find anything majorly wrong with it. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, squish that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear about next. I'll see you in the next one.